tickled. That hellish recliner will not take away from yet another one of my parties. What do you want me to do, Clarissa? We told Bob to store it here. Well, that was before I knew we'd be storing ourselves here with it. That was before I knew what it looked like. I mean, just, just look at it. <laughs> do you really want that chair to be the symbol for humanity's rebirth? Are you prepared to accept it as your final messiah? Because that's exactly where we're headed right off. That's exactly where we're headed. Look, honey, it's the only thing he has left in the whole world. He pets it and talks to it at night. If we made him get rid of it, it would be like asking a kid to shoot his really comfortable dog. Mm. It's the only thing he has left to keep himself going. Hi. If you're not going to take care of this little problem, then I will. I should have known better than to let you have working class friends. And I absolutely should have known better than to let you invite one of them to this post-apocalyptic pajama party or whatever you think this is. I'm sorry. That's all you think this is, isn't it? You think this is just a pajama party? Well, you know what? It's not. I still have a reputation to keep, and I will not allow our neighbor to humiliate me in front of everyone. <laughs> okay, you know what? Are you going to take care of this little problem, or am I? I, I I'll, I'll handle it. Don't, don't get upset and stop spraying dog food on the audience. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, hey, while you're over at Bob's, remind him the party's at 7 o'clock. Yes, yeah. Okay. Uh, Bob? Bob, can I talk to you for a second? Reggie? Hey, Bob, I, I just needed to talk to you about something. Reggie, I haven't seen you since I fell asleep. How the hell are you? How's Clarissa? Uh oh, we're, we're, we're good, Bob. We're real good. Um, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. Just fine. Did I tell you I had a map? Yeah, I think I remember you mentioning that. Oh, I just had the most incredible dream. Oh, what about? I dreamt about Rita. Your wife? Yeah. It was just like I remember it being. It was amazing. Only this time, she made it. What do you mean? Well, this time she was able to outrun the vampire squirrels. Really? But they're so fast, and she was always so slow. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why at first I thought it was a nightmare, but it turned out to be the only dream I've never wanted to wake <laughs> What happened? Well, it started out the way it actually happened about a year ago. Rita and I were getting ready to watch Wheel of Fortune, and when we heard that thousands of genetically engineered vampire squirrels with a taste for human blood suddenly escaped from a military research facility nearby. Yeah, <laughs> you can't forget a day like that. <laughs> All the reports had to stay indoors, but Rita panicked. She ran outside. I went after her, but it was too late. Thousands of bushy-tailed bastards seemed to come out of nowhere and started chasing us. We were running as fast as we could. That's when it happened. What? Well, about a year ago, that's when Rita stumbled and I saw her get eaten alive. Oh. <laughs> but this time, we kept running. She didn't stumble, we kept running and running until we came to this recliner. We sat down in it and flew away. In the recliner? Yeah. We went to Cancun. <laughs> drank strawberry daiquiris while we were there. That's, uh, that's some dream. It's incredible is what it is. I mean, I, for once in my life, I think I've got a piece of my life back. I, whenever I look at this chair, I'm going to see her smiling at me, ordering another daiquiri. <laughs> <laughs> it's not enough about me and what's been going on in my life. Um, what, what was it you wanted to talk to me about? Oh, uh, I just wanted to make sure you hadn't forgotten about the party we're having tonight. I forgot the rest of the, you sent me the invitation last week. Oh, good, good. Looks like it's going to be a good one. So you should put up the Christmas lights. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, um, but don't be late. Uh, Clarissa is going to read to us from Moby Dick. Again. <laughs> she likes whales. She thinks that they're the complete opposite of squirrels. I see. Well, I'll 
see it right. Okay. <laughs> see. <laughs> we have a problem. What now? He flew away with his wife on the recliner. Rigel, what are you talking about? That recliner isn't airworthy, and the vampire squirrel shucked Rita like a fat nut. <laughs> Bob had a dream, and now his chair reminds him of his wife. Oh, Bob had a dream, did he? Well, you know what, Reginald? I have a dream, too. <laughs> I have a dream of getting rid of that recliner and turning the corner that it's in now into a breakfast nook. <laughs> <laughs> Look, honey, why don't we just forget about the recliner and try to enjoy our party? You know what? I'll, I'll take care of this myself. Clarissa! Oh, how have you been? I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. Oh, by Ben. Do you hear how he's taunting me? You know damn well how I've been, you party wrecker! Honey, just calm down. I will not calm down! I've gone on with this charade long enough! I will not continue to pretend that everything is okay. Not on the eve of my greatest party. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Was I supposed to bring something? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's nothing like that. There, there's enough dog food here for all of us. <laughs> Clarissa is just a little upset because, well, it's because... Oh, for heaven's sake, Reginald, it's your recliner, Bob! Your goddamn recliner! Recliner? Yes, your recliner. That mothball written soul-sucking vortex in the corner that we've had to live with for far too long. You need to get rid of it. Send it back to hell, where it came from. <laughs> I see. And is that how you feel about this, Reggie? <laughs> I think we need to find a compromise that makes everyone happy. Well, you guys have been great neighbors. I wouldn't want to do anything to upset you, but there's no way I'm getting rid of my recliner. I mean, I told you about my dream. You know why I can't do it. I know. I know. You told me. And I can appreciate that. Wait. Wait. What are you saying, Reginald? You, you're agreeing with him? I thought, I thought we decided about this. I know. I just don't feel right about it. Oh, you don't feel right about it. Well, how do you feel about living with an ergonomically seductive demon, Reginald? Are you okay with that? Just, just calm down. <laughs> I see what's going on here. I know exactly what's happening. <laughs> the recliner's taking hold of you. It wants you to protect it. <laughs> okay, honey. <laughs> So good. Okay, maybe you need to relax. Maybe sit down for a bit. Oh, you're more than welcome to stretch out on the recliner. No! Never! Thanks, Bob. I don't think that's what she needs right now. I'm not going to let it get me, too. I'm going to destroy it. I'm, I'm going to rip it to shreds. And then, once it no longer has any power over you, You'll realize I was right all along! Okay. Give me the, 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 the can opener, Clarissa. <laughs> Before someone gets hurt, listen to Reginald Clarissa. Give him the can opener. Don't you try and stop me. This is for the good of the entire world! No! Stay still, they're right side to space on movement. If we don't move, they can't see us. <laughs> You're thinking of a T-Rex, Bob. <laughs> All right. How the hell did he even get in here? He must have been hiding in the chair this whole time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>
Marissa? Honey, what are you doing? Sit back down. This blood sucking. Overgrown rat has crashed the wrong party. From hell 